Now, most of us do our best not to think about death, but, but the, there's always part of our minds that knows this can't go on forever. We, we, the, part of us always knows that we're just a doctor's visit away or a, a phone call away from being starkly reminded with, with the fact of our own mortality or of those closest to us. You, you, you must know how uncanny it is to suddenly be, be thrown out of the normal course of your life and just be given the, the full-time job of not dying or caring for someone who is. But the, the one thing people tend to realize at moments like this is that they wasted a lot of time when life was normal. Yeah, it's not just what they it's not just what they did with their time. It's not just that they spent too much time working or were compulsively checking email. It's, it's that they they cared about the wrong things. They they regret what they cared about. Their their attention was bound up in petty concerns. The year after year when life was normal. We all know this epiphany is coming. Don't you know this is coming? Don't you know that there's going to come a day when you'll be sick or someone close to you will die and you'll look back on the kinds of things that captured your attention and you'll think, what, what was I doing? You know this, and yet, if you're like most people, you'll spend most of your time in life tacitly presuming you'll live forever. I think you know, you know, you if you you know what you're supposed to do deep down inside. I think everybody does. And a lot of people just don't go after it, you know. Cause, and like most people start out, they say, "I want to be a this," but I'm going to get that to make sure I have something to fall back on. Yeah. And what you're doing is you're setting yourself up for failure because you're going. There's a possibility that I'm gonna fall back, and when you put that out there, then you fall back. But if you just say, "Hey, this is what I want to do," and you go do it, you usually get your stuff the way you want it, man. I guess it comes down to a simple choice, really: get busy living, or get busy dying. Because, because even if you live to be a hundred, there's just not that many days in life. Way too many people in this room are going to spend the next 30, 40 years of their lives trying to check the boxes of the things that they're not as good at and that you're going to waste a load of time in these. I want you to look back on the journey that brought you here. What moments challenged you most? When were you asked to step outside of your familiar territory in order to rise to the occasion of your potential? How have you pushed past your fear? You can follow someone else's script. Try to make choices that will make other people happy. Avoid discomfort. Do what is expected and copy the status quo. Or you can look at all that you have accomplished today and use it as fuel to venture forth and write your own story. If you do, amazing things will take shape. Don't follow the path prescribed by someone else. Don't give in to fear. Continue to define your unique path. You and you alone are the only person who can live the life that writes the story that you were meant to tell. <laughs>